Good morning, YouTube. Have you ever heard of electron microscopy? It's a really cool imaging technique that lets scientists see super tiny things that would be impossible to see with a regular microscope. Instead of using light to make an image, electron microscopes use electrons. This means that they can see things at the atomic and molecular level, which is pretty amazing. In this article, we'll take a look at what electron microscopy is, how it works, and some of the ways it's used. Get ready for a journey into the teeny tiny world of electron microscopy. What is electron microscopy? Electron microscopy is a powerful imaging technique that allows scientists to visualize structures and processes at the nanoscale level. This technique uses electrons instead of light to image specimens, enabling scientists to see details that would be impossible to observe with a traditional light microscope. In this article, we'll explore the history of electron microscopy, the different types of electron microscopes, and some of the applications of this technology. History of electron microscopy. The development of electron microscopy can be traced back to the 1920s, when physicists began to experiment with electron beams. In 1931, Max Knoll and Ernst Ruska built the first electron microscope, which was capable of magnifying objects up to 50 times. In the following years, electron microscopes continued to be developed and improved upon, and by the 1950s, they were able to produce images with a resolution of a few angstroms, one angstrom equals 0.1 nanometers. Types of electron microscopes There are two main types of electron microscopes, transmission electron microscopes, TM, and scanning electron microscopes, SAM. Transmission electron microscopes Transmission electron microscopes use a thin sample, typically less than 100 nanometers thick, that is placed in the path of an electron beam. As the electrons pass through the sample, they interact with the atoms and produce an image on a fluorescent screen or detector. TEMS can produce images with a resolution of a few tenths of an angstrom, allowing scientists to see individual atoms and molecules. Scanning electron microscopes Scanning electron microscopes use a focused beam of electrons that scans across the surface of a sample. As the electrons interact with the sample, they produce signals that are detected and used to generate an image. CMs can produce high-resolution images of the surface of a sample, allowing scientists to see details such as surface roughness and topography. Applications of Electron Microscopy Electron microscopy has numerous applications in material science, biology, and many other fields. In material science, electron microscopy is used to study the microstructure of materials, including the arrangement of atoms and defects such as cracks and voids. This information can be used to improve the properties and performance of materials. Gaining insights into cellular ultrastructure In biology, electron microscopy is used to study the structure and function of cells and tissues. TEMS can be used to study the ultrastructure of cells, including the organization of organelles and the arrangement of macromolecules such as proteins and nucleic acids. SEMs can be used to study the surface structure of cells and tissues, allowing scientists to visualize the three-dimensional structure of biological samples. Limitations of Electron Microscopy Electron microscopy is a powerful imaging technique, it does have some limitations. One limitation is that the specimens must be prepared in a specific way in order to be imaged. For TEM, the samples must be thin enough to allow electrons to pass through, which can be difficult to achieve for certain materials. SEM requires the sample to be conductive, so non-conductive materials must be coated with a conductive layer prior to imaging. Additionally, electron microscopy requires specialized equipment and expertise to operate, making it less accessible than other imaging techniques. Advances in Electron Microscopy 
Recent advances in electron microscopy have expanded its capabilities and improved its resolution. Cryogenic electron microscopy, cryo-EM, is a technique that allows samples to be imaged at very low temperatures, which helps to preserve the native structure of biological molecules. This technique has been used to image complex biological structures such as viruses and proteins. Another recent advance is the development of aberration-corrected electron microscopy, which uses specialized optics to correct for aberrations in the electron beam. This allows for higher resolution imaging and improved image quality. Applications in Industry Electron microscopy is also used in industry for quality control and materials characterization. For example, electron microscopy can be used to analyze the microstructure of metals and alloys, which can affect their mechanical properties. It can also be used to analyze semiconductor materials and devices, which are used in electronics manufacturing. Future of Electron Microscopy As electron microscopy continues to evolve, we can expect to see even more applications and advancements in the field. One area of research is the development of faster detectors and imaging techniques, which could enable real-time imaging of dynamic processes at the nanoscale. Additionally, the use of artificial intelligence and machine learning could help to automate image analysis and interpretation, making electron microscopy more accessible and efficient. Overall, electron microscopy is a valuable tool that will continue to play an important role in scientific research and industry. Conclusion Electron microscopy is a powerful tool that has revolutionized our ability to visualize the world at the nanoscale. With the ability to see structures and processes that were once invisible, scientists are able to explore new frontiers in material science, biology, and many other fields. As electron microscopy continues to evolve, we can expect to see even more exciting discoveries and applications in the years to come. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. Don't forget to click the notification bell so you never miss an update. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next video.